Modern international organizations began in the mid-19th century when states created a small number of organizations to work together on specific issues such as health and trade. Many of the international organizations created in the 19th century originated in Europe in the wake of major violent outbreaks such as the Napoleonic Wars, the Franco-Prussian Wars and the Crimean Wars. In 1815, the Central Commission for Navigation of the Rhine was established to promote free navigation on the Rhine River. In 1838, the Superior Council of Health was created in Constantinople to control outbreaks of diseases and promote sanitary measures. In 1856, as part of the Treaty of Paris, signed at the end of the Crimean War, the European Commission for the Control of the Danube was created to improve navigation on the Danube. The Congress of Vienna changed the techniques of diplomacy. It provided a way to balance power and deter aggression. The Concert of Europe consisted of Russia, Prussia, Austria, Great Britain and France and they would try to collaborate on certain matters of concern. Collaborations in the 19th century, however, often failed and did not produce permanent institutions. In the aftermath of World War I, a number of organizations were created to try to build a more peaceful world. The most important was the League of Nations, and aimed to achieve international peace and security by having member states agree to submit disputes with members or non-members for arbitration or to destroy settlement. However, the League was unable to control the aggressive behavior of Japan, Italy and Germany and was unable to prevent World War II. In the aftermath of World War II, the United Nations, World Bank, International Monetary Fund, General Agreement on Tariff and Trade, later World Trade Organization, and the European Coal and Steel Community, later European Union, were founded between 1944 and 1951 and they are still powerful organizations.